Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Misfolded alpha synuclein protein key to early detection of Parkinson's disease show study. The presence of a misfolded alpha synuclein protein can be used to determine if people have Parkinson's disease. According to a new study using technology developed by a researcher at UT Health Houston, this biomarker could pave the way for the development of better diagnostic tools and new treatment options for the disease. Researchers at Ambryon studied 1,123 participants who were enrolled at 33 facilities globally between July 2010 and July 2019, representing the largest analysis so far of a SYN-SEED amplification assay or SAA for the biochemical diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. Of these 545 had Parkinson's disease, 163 were healthy people with no evidence of Parkinson's, 54 had evidence of the disease on brain scans, 51 were in the early stages of the disease and 310 had genetic mutations that are known to cause Parkinson's but hadn't yet done so. This large and well-characterized collection of samples was put together by the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative or PPMI. Hearing aids may protect against a higher risk of dementia linked with hearing loss, show study. People experiencing hearing loss who are not using a hearing aid may have a higher risk of dementia than people without hearing loss, suggests a new study published in the Lancet Public Health Journal. However, using a hearing aid may reduce this risk to the same level as people without hearing loss. Dementia and hearing loss are common conditions among older adults. The researchers looked at data from more than 4,30,000 people who were part of the UK Biobank database. The average age of study participant at recruitment was 56 years old and the average follow-up time was 12 years. Sleep irregularities contribute to worse symptoms in schizophrenia patients, show study. In a paper published recently in Molecular Psychiatry, a team of scientists from the University of Pittsburgh, in collaboration with researchers in Italy, described shared patterns of sleep disturbances and irregularities in daily rhythms of rest and activity across patients with schizophrenia spectrum disorder or SSD. By using wrist monitors that measured activity and rest as proxies of wakefulness and sleep, researchers found that individuals with SSD who resided in psychiatric hospitals and those who managed their condition in outpatient settings had erratic sleep patterns, dysregulated transitions between sleep and wake cycles, and excessively rigid daily routines that were predictive of worse SSD symptoms and correlated with poorer quality of life. Promising results towards restoring vision and blindness caused by cellular degeneration in the eye. Preclinical study using stem cells to produce progenitor photoreceptor cells, which are light detecting cells found in the eye, and then transplanting these into experimental models of damaged retinas has resulted in significant vision recovery. This finding by scientists at Duke NUS Medical School, the Singapore Eye Research Institute and the Karolinska Institute in Sweden marks a first step towards potentially restoring vision in eye diseases characterized by photoreceptor loss. Photoreceptor degeneration occurs in a variety of inherited retinal diseases such as retinitis pigmentosa, a rare eye disease that breaks down cells in the retina over time and eventually causes vision loss and age-related macular degeneration, a leading cause of vision impairment worldwide. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.